He lived on the top floor of his parents' house and worked at a local hardware store nearby. Levy Aaron was known in his neighborhood to be a quiet guy. He wasn't more strange than a typical strange person. He didn't do anything crazy. The people who worked with him for years, the people who know him well, couldn't even talk about him today. I am not to be interviewed. I, we're sick about it. Except for his ex-wife, Debbie Aaron. She lives in Memphis with two kids from another relationship. Oh, we lived together. Yeah, he helped me. Yeah, he was really good to the kids. That's what I'm saying. This is all out of character. Came out of nowhere. The two had met on a Jewish dating website in 2006. She said at first Aaron was shy. After a few months, though, he moved from Brooklyn to Memphis for her. There, he worked security in this building for the one year they were married. In 2007, Debbie took out a restraining order against Aaron, but still, she said he was harmless. He was so hysterical about us getting a divorce. He didn't want to get a divorce, and I wanted to get the divorce. Ultimately, he moved back to Brooklyn, where he stayed under the radar. Police say his only prior contact with them was a summons for urinating in public last year. His ex-wife said he'd become less religious since moving back to a quite religious neighborhood, where people now wish they would have never had a reason to learn his name. It is a sick thing. This guy is a monster. The police say they are looking into any mental illness issues. The folks did ask Debbie Aaron about that. She said she didn't know of any mental illness, but she did say that Aaron had been in a bad bike accident when he was nine years old. He fell and he hit his head very hard, and she always suspected that it might have something to do with how he was as an adult. Christina, Ernie, back to you. Uh, Heather, as you've been gathering information on this story, uh, do we know any more about his childhood, his upbringing? Just a little bit, Ernie. In fact, his ex-wife talked a little bit about that today. She had said that he was a mama's boy, that his dad really wasn't around all that much, and that his mom passed away from cancer a few years back, and it was shortly after Aaron himself had discovered a growth on her back. All right. Heather Brown, thank you very much for your report.